What's up Fishaholics and uh, today I'm launching up here in the northern section of Narragansett Bay up in Rhode Island. That's the Seekonk River over there. Then down here to the left of me I've got the Providence River and uh, today is April 28th and today is going to be a special 24 hour kayak fishing challenge. The same challenge that I'm working with or I'm competing against with Sea Money Fishing, Elias V Fishing, and Kayak Angler Magazine. And uh, today's gonna be an interesting, or like the next 24 hours is gonna be an interesting day of fishing. I've got 24 hours to catch as many species as I can. I haven't started the clock yet because I'm getting my Mirage Drive in and I'm getting situated here. But basically I have 24 hours to catch as many species and measure them with the ruler and catch it on film and it, they all have to be a minimum of the regulations or the rules that you can see here and all of the fish freshwater or saltwater that you see there in the list can be counted towards this 24 hour kayak fishing challenge today is going to be the april month challenge for the 24 hour kayak fishing challenge and i'm kind of excited to see what the day or the next 24 hours bring I plan to fish the northern section here of Narragansett Bay and then I'm going to probably fish into dark and then after after dark I plan to head south to Jersey because I'm actually going home for my mother's birthday where I might fish Bud Lake and I'm definitely going to fish Round Valley Reservoir so I'm going to be bouncing around a lot and uh, try and get the most inches that I can get in the next 24 hours. I'm going to start the clock, it's 529 right now, and I am going to start the clock right now. All right, guys, 24 hours to go. Marking a couple fish here on the screen underneath the bridge here. Looks like a couple stripers. Oh, there he is, fish on. A little guy that's not gonna that's not gonna help me at all right there it's a little guy there he is ah little rat striper I gotta get away from these little guys. Oh, marking stripers right here on the screen. Nice. I'm, more, I'm getting some bigger marks too. Let's drop this swim bait right back down. There he is. I know there's some bigger ones bigger ones down there but I just have to get through the little guys all right well I caught a couple small little schoolies on the inside of this little isolated section of the bay here and uh, I'm gonna head back out here towards the main section of the bay because there's a lot more current a lot more wind out here and I have a feeling there's gonna be a few more fish the uh, the current has changed around now the tide is coming in so it's a little bit flatter out here because the tide is going with the wind. So uh, hopefully there's going to be some fish biting. Oh gosh, there's a fish right there. Did not see that coming. Oh yeah. That's a nice striper right there, guys. Right off these pilings here. That surprised the heck out of me. <laughs> Woo! Been catching dinks all, all day or for the last couple hours been catching dinks and finally hooked one a little bit on the bigger side. Yeah, there we go guys, on that Berkeley flatback shad, right at the one inch right there. Two 
24 inch bass. So I need four more inches to get a keeper. Whew. Let's catch a bigger one, guys. Come on, four more inches. That's all I need. There he is, fish on. Just about to get dark, guys, and you know I'm, I'm kind of here at my night spot, right underneath this bridge, where uh, I'm thinking that there's going to be a few bigger sized stripers here as this tide starts to come in. And you know I've been here for a minute or so and already got my first bite. wasn't as big as my 24 incher, but that 24 incher still isn't big enough to count towards the uh, the tournament. You know, I gotta, I gotta catch a 28 inch striper. I'm probably gonna grind out another 30, 40 minutes and then I'm probably gonna get off the water. And, uh, you know, then I'm gonna start working my way back to Jersey. And uh, hopefully uh, I can get into, uh, you know, some fish in Jersey. Oh, there he is. Uh, striper. Little guy. Little guy on the Yum Money Minnow. Seems like all we got up here in Providence are small little stripers. Except for that one that was, you know, barely 24 inches. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe maybe I'll stop off at the Housatonic River on my way home. Do a little night uh, night fishing there. I might be able to get a keeper. My game plan for tomorrow is to head south to Round Valley Reservoir and do freshwater fishing for lake trout, rainbow trout, brown trout, smallmouth, largemouth bass, yellow perch, bluegill, pickerel, you know, all those species in Round Valley Reservoir I'm hoping to catch to kind of round off the, the April tournament. But I would like to catch at least one striper and get it on the board. Just hooked into a nice bass, guys. I was actually working my way back to the launch site. Oh gosh, this is a nice bass. I was actually gonna call it for the day. Okay, this is a nice fish. Caught him right on the corner here on a young money minnow. This might be a keeper. This fish is pulling really good. I'm using some light tackle right now. Okay. This looks like a keeper, guys. Yeah. Got him. Okay. Woo! That might be a keeper right there. I'm hoping this fish will give me 28 inches. Nice striper right there, guys. There's the one, guys, right there at the striper's lip. And and if you pinch the tail, he is 29 inches, baby. 29 inch bass. All right, guys, I'm gonna get a nice release on this 29 inch bass right here. 29 inches. Get him back in the water. All right, Fishaholics, I just got back here to the launch site. And like you just saw, I just landed that 29 inch bass. Woo! So that's that's one keeper on the board that's 29 inches, which I'm real pumped about because I really wanted that one, you know, decent sized fish. Because right now I just unloaded the kayak. I just have to throw it on the car. And I'm gonna go back to my apartment in Providence, get a bite to eat, then head back to Jersey, and I'm gonna be doing some freshwater fishing. You know, I might take like an hour or so of rest, you know, take a nap and then I'm gonna head south and hit Round Valley Reservoir. I might stop off at Bud Lake to try and get a, a pike, but I, I'm still uncertain about that. But right now I'm pretty driven on going down south to Round Valley Reservoir, trying to catch lake trout, rainbow trout, brown trout, and uh, largemouth, smallmouth bass, panfish, pickerel, and uh, I'm gonna try and get the, the biggest amount of inches I can get. And I'm going home mainly to Jersey, basically for my mom's birthday, but also because of the great fishing opportunities you know I have back there in Jersey so I'm going back to my home roots to try and put together you know a good amount of inches but whoo I, I was I was thinking about hitting the Connecticut or the Housatonic River if I didn't catch 
you know, a keeper size fish tonight up here in Providence. And I was a little, I was a little unconfident, you know, going out today. You know, I, I went out today at around 5.30 and right now it's a little after 9 p.m. And I spent around three hours and 45 minutes out there on the water. And all I was catching were schoolies and I had one schoolie that was around 24 inches. And whew, lucky I was able to get that 29 incher. But uh, I'm gonna load the kayak up and uh, head out head out of here. I'll see you guys back in Jersey. Three miles out of Providence and I get stuck in traffic. Great. All right, Fisherholics, I'm back here in my house in New Jersey and uh, we just passed the 10 hour mark for the KFC tourney and it's around 3.40 a.m. I am lit right now. I had two cups of coffee and I usually don't drink coffee. So I'm probably just gonna pull an all-nighter and uh, let me uh, go into my basement and show you my fishing man cave. And basically I'm just gonna re-rig for Round Valley Reservoir and uh, then I'm gonna have to head down to the lake and I might take a nap if I get there before dawn. But if I get down there while the sun's coming up, I'm just gonna hit the water right away. Well, welcome to the fishing department here at my house or the Fishaholic Man Cave. And I'm just gonna give you a brief overview because I'm running a little late on time and I wanna rig up for Round Valley Reservoir and get down to the reservoir before the crack of dawn. But um, anyways, uh, you know, obviously you can see in front of me here is uh, a bunch of plugs, you know, for every situation that you can think of, you know, a bunch of unopened plugs. Some of these plugs are 20 years old, you know, that my father got that way back in the day. You know, we've got hundreds of Adam's poppers. There's a really cool story behind why we have, you know, those plugs and all this tackle in general. If you guys want to see a more in-depth video, post a comment in the comment section below that you'd like to see a more in-depth video. But, uh, you know, we got the custom rod rack here with a bunch of rods on it, the tuna fishing rods. We've got the van stalls over there on the reel rack, reel table, fly tying table. This is my uh, other van stall here. That's my uh, knight and shine and armor. That set up right there, catch a ton of fish on it. This is, these two rods here are my, my father's rods and he actually extended the butt on here so he could use it as like a walking stick when wading through the surf off Montauk. But, uh, you know, fly boxes, all these tackle boxes down here in front of me all have bucktail jigs in them that are unopened, you know, unopened plugs, unopened spoons, and you know, various types of lures. This bag here is my main surf casting or fishing bag that I bring with me anywhere when I'm targeting stripers. Just each container is tailored for a special situation that is just basically packed with tackle that I know I will need whenever I'm at the water so I know that I won't be without something that will prevent me from catching fish. Just tons of gear, tons of bucktails in here. There's probably around 100 bucktails in this container here. It weighs about 20 pounds, and uh, this container is all one to three ounce bucktails. Then I've got this container here filled with probably 50 bucktails from you know quarter to three quarters of an ounce. And uh, anyways, that, that's a brief overview of my fishing department here at my house. I'm gonna get rigged up for Round Valley Reservoir and I'll see you guys at the, uh, the reservoir. All right, Fishaholic, so I just got to uh, Round Valley Reservoir here and uh, I got some pretty good conditions out here. It's, it's overcast and cloudy, but uh, you know, it's really flat calm today or so far early in the morning right now. So it, uh, it shouldn't be too bad to go out there and uh, troll around a little bit and try and catch some trout. And uh, I'm hopefully gonna knock out, you know, the lake trout, I'm gonna hopefully knock that out. The brown trout and rainbow. And then hopefully after that, go for some largemouth, smallmouth, and uh, then go for panfish and maybe pickerel. And uh, you know, hopefully uh, gain a lot of inches from all these species. And hopefully by the end of the day, I have about 11 hours to fish. I'm 13 hours into the uh, kayak fishing challenge. So uh, hopefully I can get over 100 inches by the end of the by the end of the uh, next 11 hours that I have left but uh, let's do it let's catch some fish the first species that I'm gonna target are lake trout I'm gonna you know use the downrigger and put down the cowbells with a peanut a really silly looking lure but it straight up catches fish 
I'm gonna drop it back, say 50 yards behind the kayak, and uh, you know, then hook it to the downrigger and send it down to the depths. Fish on. Finally got the first fish on of the day, guys. Took me quite a while. Been trolling for about two hours straight and finally hooked up. I think this is a little one though. Nothing too big. <laughs> little Laker. Oh, he fell off right there. Wow. Yeah, that trout that got off, you know, he was probably just 18 inches. If he was even 18 inches, probably just would have made it, would have made the cut. But, you know, the wind just picked up right now and I got a bite. So maybe I just need a little wind out here to get the fish uh, to start feeding a little bit. Fish on. Finally. It's taken me forever to finally get a decent bite. Oh, stay on there. Yeah! Woo! That's a definite 18 plus inch fish right here. Woo! Nice fish. The nose is right there at the bump. And pinching the tail. He is a 21 inch lake trout. There you go, straight down, straight down. Woo! All right guys, finally, I finally got my lake trout. A nice 21 inch lake trout, which can be added on top of my 29 inch striped bass, which I caught up in Providence. And right now I'm at 18 hours and 39 minutes into the tournament. And I got out here when it was 13 hours and 30 minutes. And I lost one small laker at the boat. You know, he just flipped off. I don't even think that one would have measured. But finally, you know, I got a decent one. And I really had to work my butt off. Just look at this, look at this chop I got here behind me. Like, he put you down at my level right here. Like, that can make you seasick right there if you're watching it and you and you get a little woozy on a boat. But, uh, woo! All right, I'm gonna re-rig and set up for rainbow trout, brown trout, and I'm gonna work my way to the far side of the lake where the wind is blowing from so that I can get out of the wind, hopefully, and, uh, you know, connect with some more fish. I still got, you know, another, you know, five hours, a little over five hours left to fish and uh, I'm gonna use all my time I got, so let's catch some more fish. Fish on, guys, fish on. It's probably a nice trout, I'm assuming. It feels really good. It feels like a really nice fish. Stay on there, baby, stay on there. Oh, another lake trout. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a rainbow. Look at the colors on that lake, that's pretty. Gorgeous fish. This is an 18. Eighteen and a half inch laker here. There he goes. See this slow incline here? It's gonna start gradually going up. 42, 41. And the, the brown trout and the rainbow trout love to sit on that, that slow incline up. And I'm gonna pull my, oh, there, there he is, fish on. What did I say? Right there on that incline, guys. Oh, this is a nice fish. Nice fish. I so called that. So called that. It might be another laker, but, you know, my bait was only down there like 30 feet or so. I hope he's still on there. If it's a rainbow or a brown, it's not too big. But all I need is it to be 12 inches at, le at least. 
Might be a laker. Oh. Nice rainbow, baby. Get in the net, get in the net, yeah! Woo, yeah! What a rainbow. Wow, it's got the colors of like a steelhead. Woo! All right, he's on the, his nose is on the board and he is a 17 inch, a little bit bigger, but I'll say 17 inch Round Valley Rainbow Trout right there, guys. Woo, what a nice fish just on that small little Rapala Husky Jerk. Woo. Woo, there he goes. All right, guys, you missed the hook set, but I got hooked into a nice little bass here on the Kai Tech swim bait. Hopefully he measures 12 inches. <laughs> That's all I need is 12 inches. This little chunky Round Valley largemouth might do it. Oh yeah. Oh, this bass here is 12 and a half inches. See you later, little buddy. All right, well that'll give me a few extra inches. All right guys, so I have 79 and a half inches. Largemouth, striped bass, lake trout. Rainbow trout. There's another one. Oh, this might be a small mouth. Oh, smally. Woo, this one might make the, make the board too. As long as he's 12 inches. Caught him right after the large mouth on that Kai Tech Easy Shiner. Woo, see that pinch in the tail guys? 12 inches. Oh, there he goes. All right, Fishaholics, you just saw it. You know, I hit the 24 hour mark, and uh, I didn't have to fish the entire 24 hours or, you know, be awake the entire 24 hours, but just with the situation that I was dealt, that's what uh, had to be done. You know, I was all the way up in Providence and by the time I you know fished and then drove home and then basically re-rigged the kayak and and rigged up all the tackle so that I could come out here and catch fish on Round Valley Reservoir uh, you know I might as well have, have stayed up and uh, you know I think all in all the whole 24 hours was uh, you know pretty solid in my book uh, you know, I caught 91 and a half inches in total. And uh, yeah, I mean, caught a lot of nice, beautiful fish. So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, next month's 24 hour kayak fishing challenge or KFC. But uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you know when I post future videos. And as well as don't forget to subscribe to Kayak Angler Magazine, Elias V Fishing and sea money fishing, and don't forget to check them out so you can see their April 24-hour uh, kayak fishing challenge video and see how they do out on the water. But um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, post a comment in the comment section below or look in the description below, and uh, you can find a lot of the information there on how I rig and uh, you know where I buy the tackle that I was using in the video. But uh, yeah. I'm tired. I'm going to go home. I'm going to sleep, probably. <laughs> Never forget, live to fish, fish to live. And that's basically what I did.